Hi guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to make car transformer effect very easy. First what we are going to do is, duplicate your video and rename it to, clean. We have to remove the car from a background now, make sure to toggle of your bottom video, otherwise we won't be able to remove the car. Grab a roto brush tool and double click on clean layer. I prefer and recommend to mask using roto brush or, you can use masking tools as well, it's up to you. Make a cool selection of the car, don't worry if it won't be perfect. Once you are done with selection, click on invert foreground then click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Go to content aware fill tab, make sure you are at the beginning of the video and then click on, create references frame. This will open a photoshop. In photoshop grab a remove tool and remove that transparent car. Make sure to make your image as clean as possible and remove the unwanted parts on it. Once you are happy, go to file and click on save. You can now close Photoshop. In After Effects we have that reference frame layer and we can feel free to remove the car from a background. Go to Content Aware Fill tab and copy my settings, then click on Generate Fill Layer and wait until it's done. Once it's finished, let's check if everything is cool. I like everything but, in my case there is a little issue on the first frame, the frame changes cause of references frame layer, to avoid this issue, simply trip your composition for one frame and that's it. Now we can start making transformer effect and that's the interesting part of this effect. Toggle on your main clip, the very bottom one and duplicate it, move it above other layers. We have to rename it now, in my case I will name it to left tail light. I will mask left tail light using Mocha AE. You can use After Effects masking tools but, Mocha AE is free and you can download it on an official website. In Mocha grab a masking tool and mask the tail light. Once you are done, click on perspective button and track it forward. Once the tracking is done, click on save button and close the Mocha AE. Now expand matte and click on, apply matte. Duplicate that layer now and rename it to, right tail light. Reset Mocha settings and click on Mocha AE. Then do the same but, mask and track the right tail light this time. Once the tracking is done, click on save button and close the Mocha AE. Now expand matte and click on, apply matte. Nice, we have two car parts that we can animate already and then continue masking other car parts. Select left tail lights first, go a few frames forward, enable 3D on your tail lights layers. Press P on your keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Now go few frames backward and change position of the tail light. Let's check it. Cool, I like it. Let's select another tail light and do the same animation with position. I'm happy with it. You can keyframe rotations as well and make it look as you will enjoy. Once you are happy too, enable motion blur on both tail light layers. Duplicate very bottom video again and do the same to all of your other car parts. This time I will mask wheels the same way I did to tail lights. But, make sure to cut your another car part layer. Once the tail lights are on its position, cut your part from that point and mask from that moment. So car parts will fly in in order. I will speed up Mocha AE part, cause you already know how to mask. Enable 3D on that layer as well. Press P to open position and make the same position animation we did to tail lights. Nice, make the same steps to other car parts. Let me skip that part and let's jump to a car body dropping animation. Once you have masked all the parts of the car, let's duplicate very bottom video again and move it above all other layers. Toggle of that layer for a while and check car part animations, the body should hit the ground once all car parts are on its position. In my case I will cut my layer from this moment and car dropping effect will start from here. Rename that layer to car body and toggle it on. This time I will mask using roto brush. Select only car body, do not mask car parts you have masked out earlier, in my case it is wheels and tail lights. Once you are happy with selection, click on freeze button. As the freezing is done, go back to composition. Press P to open position, now go near to the end and click on position stopwatch icon. Then go to very beginning of the layer and change position all the way up. Enable motion blur and let's check the transformer effect. That's cool, but it looks weird when it hits the ground car looks like you have bought it from an AliExpress. 
To get the original look, go to the moment where car body fully hits the ground and cut the ending of that layer. Cut clean and fill layers as well. That's better now. Let's check again and then make a smooth curves to all layers at once. Press U on the layers to open created keyframes. Accept car body layer, select all keyframes at once and press F9 on your keyboard to easy ease them. Then go to graph editor, right click and make sure, edit speed graph is selected. Select all curve keyframes here as well to create the same curve on all layers. Nice, now let's adjust car body curve, select car body keyframes, press F9 and go to graph editor. Make curve like mine. That's cool, I'm happy with the effect. And lastly let's add shakes on every car part that hits the right position. I will skip that part, you can get my 16 unique shake presets that I have created in the description below or, you can watch my shake tutorials that I've made, link will be in the description. That's how it looks with shakes. Hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and like the video please.